Hi everyone, welcome back. This is gonna be a really quick video because I have another set of hair extensions I wanna review for you. I got sent this set of hair extension from Irresistible Me. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons that I found them. I'm especially gonna compare them to the set that I already have from AB Hair. And then at the very end of this video, if you like what I have to say about this, I have a discount code that I can offer you for your own set of Irresistible Me hair extensions. First off, let's talk about the extensions themselves. I ordered Silky Ginger, that's the color, in 22 inches. Here's a single clip weft, we get two of these. Also get five two clip wefts, two three clip wefts, and one large four clip weft. One of the coolest things about these extensions right off the bat is that unlike with AB Hair, they actually offered red hair in extensions, which if you're a redhead, you know how hard that is to find. Unfortunately, they're not as red as they looked online. These looked a lot redder, more gingery, like my hair. It's a little browner in person. The quality is about the same as my AB hair extensions, and the thickness is also the same. So I'm happy with how thick they are, and I'm happy with how smooth and quality they are. Plus, I don't have to dye them, which was a pain in the butt when I did it with AB hair. Here's a close-up view of the hair quality. You're gonna have to take my word on it that it's really smooth, but it doesn't look super fried, does it? But actually, even though the quality in general of these extensions is about the same as the AB hair, the quality of the ends, I think, is much closer to the, to the nice quality of the top of the hair than with the AB hair extensions. Those feel a little more damaged at the ends than these ones do. They do taper a bit in the ends, which is, again, not ideal as far as hairstyling goes, especially if you're doing braids, like I do a lot on my channel. So you can see here, it starts out pretty thick. Ooh, gets thinner at the ends. I think they do this on purpose so that it is easier to layer them in so it doesn't make it look as obvious as, oh, there's the line where the extensions are and there's the line where your real hair is. But for my purposes, it's a little um, unhelpful. So that's just something to keep in mind for when you're deciding what you would want your extensions for. Do you want them to be wearing your hair down completely, in which case these would look great, or do you want to be braiding and stuff like I do? Now as far as wearability goes, one thing I like about these over the AB hair extensions is the clips are a little bit smaller, and the teeth on the clips are a little bit finer and closer together. This is what they look like up close. The good thing about fine teeth on my hair specifically is that my hair is very, very smooth and silky and it's hard to get a grip. So finer tooth combs hold better, I've found, onto my hair than the bigger clips of the AB hair extensions. And these are also more comfortable to wear. The other ones start making my head a little bit sore around the like three hour mark. These ones I've been wearing all for um, all day a couple times in a row now and they haven't really gotten sore. What's also another really cool thing is the four clip extension. The clips aren't very far apart so it's not a really wide clip because that one's really hard to hide in your head. This one, the clips are closer together so the weft is narrower but then we've got double the row of sewn in extensions. So you see here, one row of hair more than one row of hair. And that makes it easier to add a lot of hair and a lot of thickness to your head without the danger of having a lot of um, clips and exposed seams in the parts of your head where there's not as much hair to cover it. So this is probably my favorite part of the set. It's just this really thick four piece extension part. I have not tried curling them yet but they're supposed to be able to be curled, so you should go for it, and if it doesn't work, you can complain and get your money back. Now let's move on to a demonstration of these hair extensions, so you can see what I'm talking about. Here I've already put in a few. I have a two clip weft down here at the bottom. The big one is in here, and then there's this um, two two clip wefts sitting here in the back. Now, I will show you 
how I'm finding I can clip them in. It's one of the biggest um, struggles that I've found with hair extensions is that my hair is so thin and so fine that if I just try to do the, ooh, don't drop it, if I just try to do the like slide it in method that a lot of um, advice out there says for attaching hair extensions, it doesn't really get in. It just kind of slips down my hair. So what I found I have to do is I find the spot that I want to attach it and kind of lift up the hair a tiny bit and then push the comb into that lifted hair and clip down. I've also found that I can't really attach hair extensions above this line about like halfway up my forehead because again, I don't have really, really thick hair so if it's too high up, I don't have enough natural hair on top of my head to completely cover and you can see the clips. So let's take my hair down and see what the color looks like. I'm okay with the color. Like I said before, it's not my exact red, and it's not as red as it looks on the internet. But on me, it's just close enough that it looks more like natural, slightly different coloring, you know, highlights, low lights, instead of, oh, that's obviously fake and obviously not her hair color. So, see here? Can't really see it on film. In person, let's see, that is not my real hair. It's a little browner. Maybe you can see it a tiny bit. If you're my red, it'd probably be fine for you. If you're any redder than me, you might want to consider dyeing it with henna again, like I did with my baby hair extensions. On my back, it's actually slightly shorter than my real hair. And since I got the 22 inch, there was one option that was uh, longer than that, that was the 24 inch. And I probably should have gotten the 24 inch, but that's okay. Um, again, so if your hair is as long as mine, get the 24 inch. If it's a little short, get the 22 inch and so on. I will braid it now so you can see how thick it is. That's what I usually use hair extensions for, is thick, when I need thicker hair. So my hair is pretty darn long, but it's also thin and it gets much thinner at the ends. So if I need to do a hairstyle for a tutorial that requires thick hair to even pull off, much less look accurate, then I'll use these hair extensions. And there you go. That's how thick the braid is. So in summary of this review of Irresistible Me hair extensions, the pros are the thick, wide weft. You can buy a reddish color rather than just brown and blonde for those redheads out there. And there are smaller, finer clips, so they're easier to attach and stay put. As far as things that are the same between Irresistible Me and Amy Hair, they're the same thickness, about the same quality of hair, because they're both Remy hair extensions, and they both have the same taper. Both of these hair extensions get thinner at the bottom. As far as cons go, this hair wasn't as red as it says on the, the internet. Also, they're slightly more expensive than AB hair. These 22 inch set would run for about 129 last time I checked on the internet, on their website. And the AB hair 22 inch would go for about 102. Finally, one other small con is with the Irresistible Me, you only get two of those small single clip extensions. You know, the one that I just showed you how to put in right here. There's only two of those. Whereas with AB hair, there were five. And I find that those are more useful when I'm doing hairstyles that aren't necessarily just my hair hanging down. If I'm doing updos and things like that, it's harder to hide large uh, extension wefts. And so if I need thicker hair, I tend to put um, little single clips everywhere in little strategic places that are covered by hair. But if you're a redhead, or if you just want extensions for wearing your hair down, or in simple hairstyles like the single braid, then I recommend the Irresistible Me. If you're trying to do a bunch of updos and fancy hair, like is on my channel, then I recommend getting the AB hair ones, plus they're a little cheaper. I hope you enjoyed this product review. If you do end up being interested in the Irresistible Me hair extensions, go ahead and use my discount code at their website. It'll get you 10% off. And with that, have fun hairstyling and have a good day.